we have Tanishka Brown. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Right, uh, I'm a 16 year old and I am a PhD student currently at uh, the University of California, Davis in uh, California, United States. Um, and so, yeah, I've been, you know, start, I've been at college since I was seven um, and I've, so that's been more than half my life. Um, and, you know, I've been at, at community college and then from community college, I've been uh, going to uh, University of California, Davis for my undergraduate degree, my bachelor's degree, and then um, I am now continuing my studies uh, as a PhD student. All right, so when, when was it realized that you're actually a child prodigy? I think my parents realized that I was special from a, from a really young age. Uh, I hear all these stories from my parents about you know, how I've, you know, there were a lot of different things, uh, you know, things that you would not, not normally see uh, for regular children. For example, when I was less than a day old, uh, you know, my parents and my my grandparents would notice how you know I was very attentive, and you know when you know people were talking to me or talking about me, uh, you know I would lift my head up uh, and you know move my head around to see wh what what was going on. Uh, you know th that was when I was less than a day old, and then also you know my my mom would say how you know I was always interested in storybooks even when I was only two or three months old, and my mom would you know ask me stories about the storybooks. And even though I couldn't speak, I would, uh, you know, point to different regions um, um, on the book to answer my mom's questions. And so different things like that, you know, kind of made my parents realize that I was special. And then I guess finally when they uh, had a, they had me take a, an IQ test, um, I scored, you know, like 99.99 percentile. And so this was around when I was age four. And so I guess at that point it was kind of confirmed that, you know, I was, you know, I guess a child prodigy. Um, and um, so, yeah, I guess since that was kind of how my parents realized. Um, and so ever since then, they've kind of, you know, helped me, uh, you know, n nurture my abilities and, you know, I guess uh, uh, helped me apply my talents. Okay, so what are you currently working on? Uh, I'm currently a, a PhD researcher uh, at a lab in UC Davis. Uh, my research is currently focused on it, my, my lab works on, um, on microscope, new microscope modalities uh, to, that are meant for uh, clinical tissue sample analysis. Um, and uh, my work is focused on applying deep learning techniques uh, to analyze and interpret these, uh, met, uh, these, the data that we get from these uh, microscope modalities. So about the child prodigies and not them. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel about child prodigies on a philosophical level? I mean, how do they emerge? Why are they here and mm -hmm. what's their purpose? In life? Yeah, uh, yeah, this is definitely a little bit more of a philosophical question. I mean, for me, I do think that, you know, my talents are, you know, God-given talents and that it's important to apply these talents for, you know, the, the betterment of, of humanity and to inspire other people as well, other students, so that, you know, they can apply their talents as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, why, you know, there are child prodigies in the world, but I mean, obviously everybody has their own talents too, and, you know, being able to, it's important to be able to recognize those talents and apply those talents and work hard, um, you know, while, you know, I have, you know, maybe some God-given God talent, a lot of it uh, has also been due to hard work and, you know, support from my from my parents and my family and from other, you know, uh, other educators and professors. Um, so it's also not just about, you know, ha in the having the talent, but also working hard as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, the Global Child mm -hmm. Prodigy Award as, a, as an evil, mm -hmm. what do you feel about it? Uh, is it important? What do you think uh, it leads the society to? Yeah, I think that the, the Global Child Prodigy uh, Initiative and also the award function that we, we had um, w was, you know, it's a very, I think it's a very important platform because there are, you know, a lot of child prodigies that may not necessarily have uh, been recognized. Um, I have been uh, recognized, you know, kind of globally and same with my sister and, you know, we're really lucky to be recognized like that. Uh, but, you know, there are many uh, children around the world who have not had you know that kind of platform? So to be able to provide that platform, I think is really important, and to be able to uh, support these children, um, for them to uh, you know 
uh, recognize their talents and um, work hard and kind of uh, apply their talents, I think that's definitely an important, uh, uh, important work. Thank you.